here in Bethlehem's Lutheran Church, this year's nativity scene features a figurine of Jesus resting on a pile of rubble, a way to honor the thousands who've been killed in Gaza. If the Christ had been born today, he would have been born under the rubble in Gaza in solidarity with the oppressed. It's a message to the world. Everywhere people are celebrating Christmas in different ways, decorating Christmas trees. But here in the land of Christ, this is what Christmas looks like this year. In his sermon, Father Munzer Isaac paid tribute to two Christians killed a day earlier in the enclave. Two women were executed in cold blood. More than two months into the war, Palestinian Christians are in no mood to celebrate this year. There are no celebrations whatsoever. Even at home, people won't be celebrating because we're sad about what's going on. We're really not in the mood. We feel great sadness. This year, there is no big tree in front of the Church of the Nativity. And tourists, who usually visit Bethlehem in droves during the Christmas season, are nowhere to be seen. Many storekeepers are not even bothering to keep their shops open. Everyone is living their lives. They are happy, except for the Palestinian people. Why are we always targeted? We are in the right. The land they are fighting on is ours, not theirs. Revenues generated by Bethlehem's commercial services sector have reportedly been dealt a 60% blow since the start of the war.